Marcus, you guys have been forcing a lot more turnovers as of late. Obviously, you had one the other day. Uh, from your perspective, what do you think is kind of feeding into that, just the, the increase in you know, takeaways and, and things like that? Do you feel like it's kind of feeding into a, you know, I know you guys like to play aggressively on, on defense. Do you feel like it's kind of feeding into that? Yeah, I can kind of think us just being aggressive and uh, trusting and relying on our technique to make these plays is what's really been allowing us to get these interceptions and get these turnovers. Also, the D-line causing havoc in the backfield, causing the quarterback to uh, miss his mark and get off target. That's been really helpful. What do you remember about the interception that you had uh, this past week? Uh, they tried to do like a little screen and go type play. And I remember I just kept my eyes on the receiver and quarterback threw and I just had to go make a play. So I made a play. Speaking about the D-line and how that's played into it, Power said that the interception he had the other day, he didn't think the quarterback saw him. How much do you think the quarterback's vision is affected by the way the D-line's been playing the last few weeks? So therefore, they're more erratic throws, they're more interceptable balls, because there's some that you guys could have had that you didn't grab. Yeah, uh, Coach Collins has been preaching a bull rush is a good rush, so they've just been creating a new line of scrimmage, getting in the backfield and getting the quarterback's eyes, causing him to get off target, um, causing him to move around in the pocket, which allows us to get those picks when he's off target. I guess, yeah, just on that note, um, you know, background talks a little bit yesterday about how, I mean, for years, you know, the team has had to outscore people, but that wasn't the case on Saturday and just in some of y'all's recent games. I mean, how much pride do you take in that as a defense? Yeah, I think our defense has really stepped up, and we've, our, we've known that we can do this, but I think uh, now we're really putting it together and really getting better each and every practice. So I think we're just stepping up and playing the role that we should have been playing. Coach you guys pressure at this time of year than you have been the last couple of years, the last couple of Novembers? Uh, I think those two bye weeks that we had, like kind of back to back, really helped us, uh, really helped guys who were injured get back healthy and uh, just get our stamina back. Yeah, it seems like there's a little more juice maybe than yeah. you know, at this point in the calendar. Coach Collins told us the first bye week, <clears throat> you guys went back and did a day one reinstall essentially and they simplified a lot of things. Is it as simple? To look at the way you guys have played the last few weeks, it's just a matter of simplification, kind of scaling things back and minimizing roles so you guys are better in those roles? Yeah, he really emphasized just calling a play and then at the end of the day, leading up to the players to just not think too much, just go out there and play. So I think simplifying and going back to our day one installs allowed us to just go out there and be free and just go make the plays that we've been making. You guys were going through a period where you were struggling. Anytime we talked to anybody on defense, they said, you know, we got to trust our teammates. Guys are trying to do too much. The last three weeks, is it the complete opposite? The guys aren't trying to do too much, which is why you guys are performing a little bit better because not as many guys are out of position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think everyone's just doing their job and just having faith and trust in the guy next to them that, you know, they're going to do their job and at the end of the day, it's going to work out. So I think when you're doing just your job and not trying to do too much, you run the defense a lot smoother, it's a lot faster and we make more plays. It all just comes out of being simpler, right? Yeah. What's, Marcus, in your opinion as a DB, what is the most impressive thing about the way the defensive line has been playing the last three games? Like for you, just personally, what, maybe you watch film or whatever, you know, or see a highlight on a video board during the game, what are you like, man, that's, you know. Yeah, that's there's they're just they're causing a lot of havoc, and as a defensive back, it just it always makes your job easier when the D lines creating this, creating a new line of scrimmage, getting in the backfield, disrupting the QB. Uh, like I said, it causes the QB to be off time. The other QBs that we're playing, they see that on film. The D line being real aggressive, uh, hitting the quarterback, you know. So I think that affects it a large part. Yeah, they know what's coming. Kind yeah. Of mm -hmm. Staying on the defensive line, uh, we talked to Jeff Collins yesterday. He said that was the, the best game that uh, Travis Shaw had played thus far, and Max did it the other day, too, after the game. Um, I guess from your perspective, uh, what stood out to you about just the way that he played and how he's been coming along uh, so far this year? Yeah, he's just been, been getting better and better and being, you know, being more bought in, and I think Saturday was a showcase of that, you know, just him dominating the line of scrimmage and making big plays. I guess his, his presence around the team as well, like how – and I know he you know, worked on his you know, conditioning and everything from last year to this year. How just different is he from last year to this year, demeanor-wise and obviously play-wise too? Yeah, uh, I say he's always been you know, the one to encourage guys to you know, push themselves, go 100% harder. Uh, I think now it's just y'all starting to see that on the field, and he's starting to showcase you know, what he can do. How would you describe his personality? He's a, he's a funny, hard-working person. Yeah, 
That's exactly who he is. What, uh, what has changed the um, defensive mindset over the past few weeks, do you think? Uh, I think just going back to the basics and just like uh, Coach Collins wants to do, make it real simple. Just a lot of people do their jobs and make plays. Just on that note, one of the things you described as one of the issues during that losing streak was, I mean, it was the roles, but it was also communication. How do you think that you guys have improved in terms of communication since, let's say, that rough stretch? Yeah, we're definitely doing a lot better. And I think that's credit towards just making it a lot more simple. Like, once you make it simple, the communication is easy, you know. We know what's going to happen. We can communicate it early. And I think that just allows us to have an extra step and allows us to make those plays. What's more challenging to, in the moment, get over quickly, giving up a big play or having a PI called on you when there's no contact? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you just got to move on. Like, yeah. That play, I mean, there's really nothing you can do. You just got to move on and, you know, and keep playing. Don't change anything. Just keep playing. If you're beat, you kind of know how you would beat. But if it's something else that's completely out of your control, that might be more difficult. It is how, how do you handle it when that happens? How did yeah. you handle it the other night? I mean, I just – I knew I didn't do anything. So, I just had to – yeah. I had, yeah, I, had, I, just had to, I just had to keep playing. Yeah, I just had to keep playing. And, you know, when, when a bad play happens as a DB, you just got to move past it. You can't let it affect you. Marcus, why did you trip the guy? How <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, when you look at BC, they just had a quarterback change a couple of weeks ago. What stands out to you about their offense just in looking at them? Um, they're very physical. Uh, we know we're going to have to go in and stop the run. That's a probably our main priority because they're, they're a, a tough physical team who likes playing downhill football. Yeah, Coach Collins, did Coach Collins give you a cookie cake after the, uh, after the pick? He did. He did. It was good. Yeah. It's a whole bunch of players. I think it was like four of them. Yeah. Just, just going off that, what Michael's asking you, have you, how do you think BC is different now with the Grayson James dude playing quarterback as opposed to Castellanos? Or have you not even studied them when Castellanos was playing earlier this year? Have you, like, what, what are you, you guys are just, I guess, looking at what he's done? Um, yeah, I watched, earlier in the year, I was watching a couple of other games. I know the last quarterback they had, he liked to run around a lot, and he could make a lot of plays with his feet. And I think this quarterback's uh, supposed to be a great thrower, so I think it'll be a, a good challenge for us. What have you maybe noticed about him on the film, the, the new guy that they have? Did anything stand out about the way he's played the last couple weeks? Um, we're really just getting to it, but what I've seen, he's more of like a pocket QB. He likes standing in there. Uh, he has a good arm. He can make the throws, so yeah. Coach Collins said that's a great opportunity for you guys. He's telling you going up against a NFL-style, pro-style offense. NFL head coach, that it's an opportunity for you guys mm -hmm. to put on film how you can play against a pro-style offense. Yeah, he's mentioned that uh, this is a game that, you know, the NFL scouts want to see, you know, uh, they run the NFL offense, uh, see how we respond to that, and I think it would be a good challenge. Are you kind of excited about that kind of challenge, a little bit of the different style you're going against? Yeah, I'm I'm excited to go to Boston in the first place, but uh, I think it'll be I think it'll be a good challenge and it'll be a fun game. Might be pretty chilly up there. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully not too cold. What do you? What, uh, no, not really. it's cold. You'll like it. What are you excited about going to Boston this time of year? Uh, just because I haven't been there before, it would be a pretty cool place to see. See what their stadium's like. I think it'll be a fun game. Once you get your reaction, you were talking about you know Travis Shaw just the D line general earlier, which is what was your reaction um, to that strip sack and then uh, Travis Shaw pouncing on it late in the weekend? Cool. Yeah. Uh, from where I was covering, I couldn't, I couldn't really see it too much. I just saw Travis get up holding the ball around. I was like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So just, just congratulating him. And, you know, that was a big play for him and Josh. So, yeah. And just what's, I mean, your reaction? You guys are now officially bowl eligible. I mean, obviously, you know, focus on winning out and not satisfied, right? But just how much does reaching that mean just given the season that you guys have had? Yeah, I think, I think that means a lot because bowl season, it's just it's something that you want to go to. Um, when you have the opportunity to. So I think we just we came together, we, we put together, and we had a goal in mind that we were going to finish the season strong. So, yeah.